Well, first of all, first of all, introduction to open intelligence. We are totally blessed to be introduced to open intelligence, opening intelligence, and recognize that to be be our primary identity, to be just simply present as it is. So first of all, I thought after yesterday's talk and in gaining assurance in open intelligence, I see absolutely nothing is wrong with me. Absolutely nothing is, like no thought, emotion and experience can be wrong or not okay. So being introduced to open intelligence and to recognize open intelligence in, in that way, is a, it's a complete empowerment and a blessing to see that we know what to rely on when especially these, all these afflictive states come up or like we have anxiety and we just know one response like running out of the room, for example. I mean, that would be one response or, or what, what else? Just hiding, I mean, hiding under the chair wouldn't be so helpful. <laughs> but, but, um, but you see at one point that all our typical ways of dealing with thoughts and emotions, they just, first of all, can get messy or they just, they just are like a dead end or they don't lead anywhere. So knowing really what to do with all these thoughts and emotions and experiences data is, is such a powerful opportunity. And I know that some of you today are in Empowerment 4 and 5, which again, there we have the, the, the total opportunity to rely on opening intelligence while we are sharing all these data streams that feel, feel overwhelming or distracting or we don't like to have or we want to get rid, rid of. And that's, that was a perfect question because we actually secretly, we just hope, oh, I hope they just go away. <laughs> don't you have that? Like we, and, and that's not only if you're in the empowerments or after, you know, like these, this is a data that can come up like, I just wish this data stream just not come up anymore. And um, so that's, a, that's another normal data stream to have, to wish that it's gone. And, um, but the power of open intelligence, in a way, well, first of all, we start with the introduction to open intelligence and then with the short moments and with uh, the four mainstays, we, we get the courage and have the courage to let everything be as it is. So that's, that's like the first step. We see, okay, we, can, we have a choice and we can rely on opening intelligence instead of indulging it or really running away. But as we see, we always have our data streams with us. We can run and run and run and then suddenly there they are. So that, that doesn't work. So the part with the power of open intelligence to see, wow, I can let everything be as it is. I can let anxiety and the impulse of getting out of here rest totally and let be as it is. And that reveals such a power and openness. Like being when we just see the definitions of our data, then it's really small, and we can just see definitions. And kind of spoke about that yesterday also in a powerful way. <laughs> when we rest in opening intelligence, there's the vastness. Our mind is vast, clear, and stable. It's already so, so we don't have to get it. And that's, that, that's such an amazing insight and realization. And it does it takes time to get used to it. And so this instruction from yesterday to take a day and you just test that out. To take a day and say, okay, no matter what comes up, and especially today going through empowerments four and five, you want to rely on open intelligence, right? That's, that's good, good we have it. Good it's there. You can't, you can't get away from it. That's also good to know. So you can rely on opening intelligence. We're doing it all right now, anyway. Sitting here, relying on opening intelligence. It's anyway as it is, like the flow of data, you can't stop it. But it's powerful to, 
to directly and fiercely rely on open intelligence with everything that comes up everything and we in, in the other trainings we talked also about do not pick up an antidote so these are good opportunities to see okay I, I'll test that out for today I'll let everything be as it is one moment at a time anyway one moment at a time we let data flow on by and then we we can directly and fiercely rely on open and intelligence and test that out. We can test it for one day and see how it goes. The, the other, oh, that talk was packed with, with, all, with all these instructions and insights, like writing down the benefits of relying on the Four Mainstays lifestyle, or when we test a day like that where we unflinchingly rely on opening intelligence, like you can wake up in the morning and sometimes, well, at least I know that, and so many thoughts and emotions, and you think, ah, oh, how can I get out of this now? But, and okay, opening intelligence and to test that a day, and that's powerful. And then the, the, today, when, when being in the, in the empowerment, it, it totally fit the, the talk yesterday with Candice of seeing all these data we don't like, we want to get rid of, we, we are sh ashamed about. Like just <coughs> imagine all these data streams and let them be as they are. She said, write them all down. What a powerful instruction. While maintaining opening intelligence. It's right here, it's good, so no one is left out in, in open intelligence. And so, that's the power of short moments. That's the power of the Four Mainstays. They just do that. They empower that. And that's such a relief. My life just completely shifted to a life of such freedom, openness, relief. And obviously, when we're introduced to open intelligence, then the data don't stop. Well, we said that already, but... It's good to, to hear that actually again and again, right? Because also after the empowerment, I just thought, well, everything is still there, so something's wrong. But these are, this is the, the perfect opportunity to see that actually all these data, they, all these data are beneficial energy and our power and opportunity to use the Four Mainstays. And we gain assurance like that by letting everything be as it is. And I really, I mean, I like this question of, okay, sexual desire. Now we'll talk about that in a relationship, but you could have that. Well, first of all, there are so many variations of that. So you're in a relationship, sex, sexual desire towards your partner. Or you're not in a relationship and sexual desire towards a person and um, another person, or you are in a relationship, sexual desire to another person, not your partner. So now it gets, so what, so what is the choice? So priority opening, to rely on open intelligence, that's, that's definitely the way to go, <laughs> to, to avoid any kind of getting into a mess. And you see what it also, what it also provides is to get your nose yourself completely with everything, with the entire beneficial energy that is stirring, and that includes sexual attraction. And I mean, you, you anyway shared your insight already so amazingly to see, well, I'm totally fine. I don't have to act. And being not anymore at the whim of our data stream that we need to act, like we have to act, if we would act on all our data streams we have, that would be quite, <laughs> just imagine that. A day you would act on all the data streams, it would be just, um, it wouldn't lead anywhere. And to, to rest deeply with them, for me that, that was just, just such a relief. And, 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 and it is a total empowerment to, find, to see decisions, to make decisions that are of benefit to all. Like, 
it really spoke to me to hear, well, we, we all want to be of benefit to all. We just don't know what to do with everything that comes up. And so to have that opportunity to see all these data streams you want to get rid of and that pull us in all directions and to rest deeply there with all these questions about, and I can totally relate to that as well, like here I am, have all the, my, my idea of how my life looks like, married, children, house, and I thought that has to be like that. That would be what means happiness, good life, happy life. And then, then it's just something completely new, living a life relying on opening intelligence. And I did have no idea where that goes. Like, will we have no sex anymore? Can I not speak anything anymore? No children, or, you know, like you just go into all these extremes, what that means. Because what I really recognized is more and more being so content and at ease with every moment. So that just unfolded moment by moment. And seeing, like when yesterday we heard about. No, I forgot the sentence, what was it? Um, that happiness is regardless of circumstances. Hmm? It's powerful to hear that and to see that unfold in my direct experience. I could never believe that that's possible, to be completely mentally and emotionally stable, that it doesn't matter what comes up. I, I don't have to be afraid of myself anymore and what I think and where my life goes. But even if there's fear, then I know also I can rest and, and rely on opening intelligence. So you see how, how, how amazing that is. <laughs> and I always trusted I know, I'll know, what is of most benefit for my life. Even if I, was, I could see, oh, the sadness of where will my life go, children, my life plan, and even that powerful, beneficial energy. But just one moment at a time, there's no need to make any decision in any direction. I knew I will know what is of benefit to all, and I can do all my decisions like that. And I really wanted to. And so that's t that time to gain assurance in, in, in the Four Mainstays lifestyle that I just gave myself. And um, with everything, with all my circumstances, with all my thoughts and emotions, especially the ones I didn't like, I wanted to get rid of. And um, that's, that's, that's totally powerful. And I, I can see just over the years how, how, I, how just the relationship with myself letting everything be as it is, it just gets better and better. Everything about me, just totally fine. Even if I have thoughts, emotions I really don't like. And isn't that amazing to come to a place where, that, where you're empowered to, to like everything about yourself, even if you don't like it? <laughs> and then to be empowered to to be the best you are with all your strengths, gifts, and talents. So that's really the benefits I can share here by relying on the Four Mainstays. And, and um, yeah, and then in a relationship, and really I saw that for myself that I didn't have to. And I thought everything, all the happiness is right in the relationship. That also a partner doesn't have to be a certain way. That comes, once you see that in yourself, you see it with the other person as well. And then all these expectations are, expectations about a relationship the other person, it's not anymore so exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> trying to, to, to fit into the expectations and try to make the other person happy and, you know, all these things. And that all 
just completely, yeah, it, it, it's completely empowered to be for, for the benefit of all. So I can see a, that the relationship, the purpose of a relationship isn't anymore that he needs to make me happy. <laughs> That's good. That's a really important insight. And, and it's not only in a, in a relationship. It's like with everything. That's, that's a, I mean, for me, that's a totally relief for, for life. 